Well, COVID-19 has made its way into four long-term care facilities in Minnesota. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how administrators are trying to fight the virus while finding loneliness. Jackie and Norman Schmitz have been sharing conversation for over half a century. I'm just, uh, you know, Liberty gibbet. I, I talk to everybody. So. <laughs> the outgoing pair has really enjoyed talking with their neighbors at Trillium Wood Senior Center in Plymouth. We're social beings. It's hard to, yeah. to not be um, with other people. Their facility is taking precautions against COVID-19, shutting down communal dining, the gym, and the community area. Our grandkids used to come over um, one, one or two a week and we don't see them at all now. The volunteers of America's senior facilities haven't had any Minnesota COVID cases, but they are taking precautions too. The residents are very much at risk and we need to be sure that the people that are taking care of them have a minimum exposure uh, to the virus. Workers at this Maplewood home must be screened daily with the temperature reading and symptom scan. They've intensified cleaning agents to protect surfaces, and residents must stay in their own spaces. In the most difficult move, no visitors allowed. We don't want to have uh, residents become um, isolated. We don't want to have them uh, feel depressed and, and, and at a higher level of anxiety than is necessary. So their staff is coming up with FaceTime and virtual visits. Something Jackie and Norm started doing on Monday. We had a Zoom conference with our three kids, and it was really, it was quite wonderful. And uh, so we'll probably do it again today. Because the golden years are meant to be shared. Now, with everyone spending extra time at home, there's a quick and easy way you and your kids can help out the senior population right now. Simply take some paper, some markers, write a note of encouragement and they'll hand them out at different facilities. We've got a list of places you can send those notes on WCCO.com. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News.